Peter is one of our most faithful attenders of the Oasis Thursday morning classes. And he tells me if I don't see him there, it's impossible for him to get there. He just physically couldn't make it or he didn't feel good or he had a doctor's appointment. Or Sister Jimmy said, you can't go today. It don't work that way, does it, Sister Jimmy? <laughs> because the Brother Peter, if you don't know, he's a German. He's, a, he's, our, he's my favorite German. I don't know that many Germans, you know, so. But uh, Brother Peter is, is, a, is to me, is a, is a wonderful brother. In September, he's going to have a birthday. Uh, I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to tell. I'm going to let him guess. Say, because whenever I, I tell the class he's the or among the oldest, he always reminds me, I don't really like to be the oldest in the class for that. So, I'm trying to catch up to it, but it's taken me a little while. Uh, I do have a birthday coming up, though, and I'll be 79, but you still got a little bit of this just, just a tank. I'll tell everybody when you first started coming to the assembly. Uh, January 2006, when we moved from Orlando, Florida. So you became a Georgian in 2006. Right, and I'm married at Georgia Peach. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, yeah. but anyway, I'm glad you did because if anybody can even come close to keeping you in line, it would have to be Sister Jimmy. And she, she's not from Georgia, though. How she was born in Georgia. Okay, she lived in Florida, so anyway, we've got that settled. Now, uh, there was a television program uh, many years ago called My Three Sons. Does anybody remember that program? Yeah. All right. Brother Dieter has three sons, right? That's correct. And your oldest son, Kevin, he used to serve on the board of this church, didn't he? Yes, he did. And uh, I, from what Brother Richard tells me, quite a, a few years he served. And he is, uh, what, what type of physician is he? A pediatrician. A pediatrician. Baby doctor. Yeah, he wouldn't know what to do in this room, would he? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear from Kevin. He couldn't be here tonight, but we got him here anyway. So watch that screen and let's listen to Kevin. Dad, congratulations. And happy Father's Day. Uh, pretty cool that you got this uh, recognition. And uh, as your son, I think you deserve it. I was told to give a few examples of what made you a great dad, and uh, I have a few. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, you were a good dad because you led by example. You didn't always say, you know, what to do or how to do it, but uh, we always knew that when you did something, you did it right, and it usually was done right the first time. And if you took the time to do it, it was going to get done and you were a man of your word, and you always followed through. Especially with discipline. When Dad said we were going to get a spank when we got home, we got a spank. So uh, I learned a lot from that, too. Um, I can think of a couple examples where you did something just for me. Uh, I remember we were living in Germany at the time, and you, um, the family, you guys all went to Turkey. Uh, but I was working, I think it was during the summer, I was working, had a summer job. Uh, but you made a point of after my job was over, before I went back to college, uh, you took me to Turkey. I think one of, uh, one of my brothers went with us, or maybe both of them. But uh, you made a special trip and flew me space available to Turkey. So, I remember that. And then uh, another time we were living in Germany, I think I was home for Christmas break. Uh, and from college, I had three or four weeks. Um, you took me uh, to Berlin with, I think, one of my brothers also. And you made a special trip. And back in those days, it was before the Berlin Wall came down. You had to take the train overnight uh, to get to Berlin through East Germany. And we got to meet, uh, I got to meet for the first time your cousins. and. Get to know them a little bit and got to see some of the sights of Berlin. But uh, we have that picture, Dad, of you and me in front of the Berlin Wall, and uh, that's a good.
good memory and I, and I really thank you back like wow you did that for me just pretty much for me because you had taken everybody else to Berlin I believe another time as well so uh, dad you're a great dad uh, I love you very much I thank you so much for all you've done for me and given me and set me on the right right path and uh, you've been a great grandfather of my, my kids they adore their own pop and uh, I'm glad you got some recognition, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll have a great day today, or you had a great day. Uh, take care, Dad. I love you, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Now, what do you think about that? That was a, quite a surprise. Very wonderful. And, yeah, he was the number one son of it. <laughs> The oldest. Well, now you're going to hear from the number two son, Shane. So I've, I've met these guys uh, through the internet, but I'm looking forward to meeting them in person. And you'll hear about some of them when they plan on coming. Well, you just heard Kevin say he hoped to see you soon. Yeah. He's not, he's not that far away. He's in Jacksonville, Florida, right? That's right. And Gene had a birthday this month. Ah, okay. He is coming sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's hear from Shane. And especially to you, Dad. Uh, glad that you are still around and kicking and pushing 90. Uh, just wanted to wish you uh, a happy Father's Day. And uh, just to let you know how uh, grateful and appreciative I am uh, for you being my dad and giving us the life that you did. Looking back, I know some people uh, choose to rewrite uh, how their childhood was, or uh, while it, nothing's ever perfect, or you know, uh, it was still very good, and I really can't complain. Uh, most kids don't get to live overseas several times uh, in their lifestyle and be exposed to different culture and get to travel. So being in the military, uh, having that grown up in the military, that provided that for us. So that was just one, one thing that uh, I'm grateful for. Uh, also, Dad, I appreciate you instilling in me a good work ethic, uh, working hard while the motive was probably being uh, military uh, based. Um, and the root of it, uh, it did lead me as a believer in Christ to do everything as unto the Lord. Um, Colossians 3.23, I believe is the scripture, uh, talking about with everything you do, do it wholeheartedly and unto the Lord and not to men. So I tried to uh, transform that in my everyday life, uh, even with small things. So that is one uh, positive uh, biblical uh, attribute uh, that you uh, gave to me, so I'm thankful for that. Um, and I apologize for saying home a lot in this video and uh, probably being all over the place, as it probably will be. Uh, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Shane Bond. I am Deidre and Jimmy's middle son. I am 51. I have three kids. I have a beautiful wife. Uh, that I'm married to for coming on 28 years. I uh, also have my first grandbaby, grandson. Uh, so I am called Opa now, as Dieter is referred to by everybody for the most part because he's so old. Uh, yeah. um, I know growing up, uh, we played soccer, uh, being that my dad was from Germany. Uh, a lot of soccer, I remember I mentioned one time, hey dad, how about throw uh, the baseball around. He's like, there's only one sport here, and that's soccer. So he coached us in soccer, and that was about it. So if we wanted to play other uh, sports, we, we did. We did on our own. Um, but again, can't complain. Dad was very supportive. Um, let's see. It's kind of funny to me uh, that a uh, German immigrant uh, would like country music so much, and pizza. They, Dad swears he hates garlic, um, but loves pizza. Growing up, we would go probably eat pizza once a week or get it delivered. Um, very memorable about that. And whenever we 
traveled uh, listening to country music. And then, you know, mom would throw in some Christian music, obviously, and then dad would follow up with some polka or German uh, type music. So, very memorable. Uh, just like to say, very grateful, dad, uh, for you being my father, to my dad, and being there for us. Uh, not always, you know, agree <laughs> with what we did or thought, but you always supported us, um, and we're always there. So I am grateful for that. And I hope you have a great Father's Day. Uh, I know my family loves you because Opa. The reason he cut it off so abruptly there was that he made his video too long for it to be texted to me. So he had to cut a little bit of it off to get it to fit into the three-minute category. So. Surprise, for sure. Uh, okay, well, yeah, he, he said he said home a lot, you know, but uh, I think so far we're doing pretty good. Two out of three. Not bad. And we're going to find out how number three is in just a second, so you hold on. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I want to read this before we hear number three. And I was going around the tables signing up people and Somehow I had lost Brother Dieter's gift card that we have for him to the Longhorn Steakhouse. So if you found it on your table, it's not yours. <laughs> it wasn't a free gift. <laughs> it's slipped out of my notebook accidentally. So if you've got it, make sure Brother Dieter gets so I get it before you go home. Uh, if not, that steak at Longhorn will choke you to death. <laughs> Uh, I want to read this because uh, my dad has been gone for many, many years. He died at uh, just shy of his 78th birthday uh, on December the 18th, probably about 40 years ago. Uh, I've been without my dad for a long time, but he was an amazing dad. And I come across this poem, I want to share it with you, and then we're going to hear from Brother Dieter's third son, Philip. It was nice for me, Sister Jimmy, Brother Dieter, just to get to meet your boys, even though it was through the internet, and do a little chat with them. You'll find out, uh, I think your son Philip is from Washington State, so he's a long ways away. Uh, are you from Washington State? Well, give Washington State a hand. Right? That, that's from the you know, Pacific Northwest. You're way out there when you're in Washington State. All right, let's, let's just listen to this. Bear with us in a moment, because once we're finished with this, uh, the Georgia Southern Gospel Quartet from South Georgia, they're going to sing you happy. You're going to be happy. Uh, I hope you didn't eat too much over there at that table now, because you like to sing, sing, sing. All right. Somehow, a fella, a fella cannot express the feelings he's had. While through the years he's walked and talked and laughed and played with that. He cannot put in words the love, the pride that wells within, the admiration in his heart whenever Dad looks at him. Dad is the hero of his dreams, the king upon the throne, the pattern for that ideal life which he would make his own. He knows that Dad will understand the conflicts in his breast and share the problems he must face, though often unexpressed. How could a fellow go astray who has his dad, with his dad, has stood within the secret place of prayer before a holy God? And this my constant prayer shall be that until life is done, my conduct here shall honor him who proudly calls me son. So that's dedicated to all you dads that are here today. All right, here's the last son we're going to talk to, and then I'm going to hear from Brother Dieter, and we're going to turn this gospel group loose on you tonight. This is Philip. Hey, hello, everyone, and uh, happy Father's Day. Uh, my name is Philip Bond, and uh, I am uh, the third son. 
a theater in Jimmy Pond, or I'm currently living in Richmond, Washington, so coming at you from the Pacific Northwest. But here's not bad, currently. a little windy though. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. Hey, uh, and thanks for honoring uh, my dad and Peter in this way. It's very kind. Thanks for uh, asking me to participate. I really appreciate it. Um, my dad is uh, a lot of things, of course, uh, but the biggest one and the most important I think is that he is fully loved. You know, he loves me, he loves us unconditionally, he always has. He loves my wife, uh, he loves my kids. And really, that's all you need, but uh, he's more than that, too. He's a provider. And growing up, we uh, didn't get everything uh, we wanted, uh, but I know I had everything I needed. Probably more than I needed. So he always provided, uh, which was great. And uh, he's always been an encourager. You know, he still is to this day. He uh, you know, allowed me to pursue some of my ideas and dreams and, and then inject a little when he thought it was necessary. Uh, he even went to join the, the Navy over the Air Force. So that was cool. Uh, he's also faithful. Uh, always faithful, you know, uh, growing up, we went to church three times a week, twice on Sunday, once on Wednesday, and he was involved in some capacity. I knew for a period of time there, he was uh, an usher. He did that a lot. Uh, but my dad, uh, he was also steadfast and reliable. Uh, can I always talk to him about things and, and bring uh, some ideas to him? And I, I usually knew what the answers were uh, before I asked the question. And he's, uh, he's still like that. Uh, he's also family focused, very family focused. Uh, and I know we, we spent a lot of years, uh, in, he was in the Air Force in, in Germany, and that allowed him to be close to his parents, which meant we were close to our grandparents, and that was a great experience. Uh, and he still is uh, focused on, uh, on our family. And we talk regularly, uh, almost every week, when our schedules can line up, and that's just great. And uh, that's something I admire about my dad, too. And uh, it's rubbing off on me on that way, too. Okay, I'll leave you with a, a final quote about fathers that I like. So this is pr pretty neat here. It says, a father is neither an anchor to hold us back, nor a sail to take us there, but a guiding light whose love shows us the way. And I'll be off in there. It's a note of the problem is a sail. Anyway, uh, that's all I got. Happy Father's Day, uh, Dad. Uh, I love you. I miss you. I'll see you very soon. Bringing the whole game down there to see you in July. Hey, uh, so long, everyone. Well, we heard from my three sons, or your three sons, uh, Kevin, Shane, and Philip. So I'm going to give you the final word. We have uh, elected you as our Oasis Father of the Year. And that's why you heard from the Lord. And, you know, the Lord told them already, he said, you're chasing down 90, which we know you're going to get that in September, right? September. So the last word is yours, Brother Dieter. Brother L, my many thanks to you and everybody in here, I'm overwhelmed from what I have saw. And I need to tell you, I couldn't have done this all without Jimmy's help. And uh, if you have a wife like this, you cannot go wrong. I don't care what you do. <laughs> Thank you all very, very much. I appreciated this, and this was an enjoyment for me. And if I can live one more year, that'd be great too. Thank you. Let's give it a little bit of a